Assalamu alaikum and hello everyone. So we proceed for the part three, which uh, is for the KP, Q, and relationship between KP and KC. For the objective of this part, we are going to learn how to write expression for KP and QC, calculate the KP and QC, and use the equation for the relationship between the KP and KC, where KP equals to KC times RT to the power of delta N. Alright, so what is the KP? So KP as the equilibrium constant in terms of pressure. The symbol here is KP, so K represents the equilibrium constant and the subscript here represents for the pressure. For the reaction involving gases, the equilibrium constant is often expressed in terms of partial pressure rather than co the concentration. So this Kp is used uh, to express the equilibrium constant of the reaction. So how to write the expression for the Kp? So let's say we have this equation A plus B to the 2C and D and the circumetry number is stated here for the uh, red font. So how to write? So Kp will be pressure of the product divided by the pressure of the rate and similar to the Kc but the Kc we use the concentration. So this one the rate is C and D. So pressure of the C to the power of this, this C Pressure of D to the power of D divided by pressure of A to the power of A times pressure of B to the power of B. So that this one we call it as the expression for the KP. Right, so we go for the first exercise. So referring to the relation below, 2N2O5 to oxygen plus 4NO and given to you the pressure for each of the substance for the N2O5, oxygen and nitrogen dioxide and you need to find the Kp so first you need to write the expression so Kp here is pressure of the product so product here is the oxygen and NO2 pressure of the oxygen to the power of 1 times pressure of NO2 to the power of 4 and divide by pressure of the reactant N2O5 to the power of 2. So the pressure for each of the substance oxygen is 0 0.296 atm times Pressure of NO2, 1.70 atm to the power of 4. And divide by 1.70 atm to the power of 2. And you calculate them. You will get. 0 0.618 and the unit here is so ATM2 this one will be 2 ATM to the power of 3 okay all right so this is the homogeneous and heterogeneous equilibria so what is this two Homogeneous and heterogeneous equilibria is the system for the chemical equilibrium which uh, depend on the state of matter for the substance involved. Meaning that uh, for the homogeneous equilibria, all of the reactant and products, all of the substance are present in single solution. So we call this single solution as homogeneous. So this is the example. 
C2H2 plus B2B, uh, 2 bromine to C2H2Br4. And we look at the state of maintaining the phases here. All of them are in aqueous solution. So if it is in the single solution, so we call it as homogeneous equilibria. The expression of the Kc is similar from the pre previous one. The concentration of the product divided by concentration of the reagent. And what is for the heterogeneous? It is different from the homogeneous where the, all of the substance is found uh, in two or more phases. Meaning that it must be in different phases. Okay. So this is the example here. So see uh, carbon dioxide in gas plus carbon in solid. And the product here is carbon monoxide. So we look for the phases. For the reagent, we have gas and solid. And the product, we will have gas. So we will have two different uh, phases here, gas and solid. So when we have two or more different phases, so we call it as the heterogeneous equilibria. Need to know here, Kc will be the concentration of the CO2 divided by C, uh, CO to the power of 2 divided by concentration of carbon dioxide to the power of 1. But where is the concentration of this C? Need to know that the uh, concentration of the solid and pure liquid does not appear, do not appear in the expression. So that's why for this concentration of C, we do not write in the KC expression or KP. Okay? okay? This is the relationship between the KC and KP. This is useful if you want to determine the KC if you are given the KP or you need to find uh, the Kp if you are given the Kc. So this is the equation for the Kp. So Kp will be equal to Kc times Rt to the power of delta n. Where Kp is the equilibrium constant in terms of pressure. Kc is uh, the constant in terms of concentration. R is for the gas constant. T is for the temperature in Kelvin. And delta n is the total moles of gas on the product side minus total moles of the gas on the reactant side. If we want to find the Kc, we rearrange the equation to find the Kc equals to Kp divided by Rt to the power of delta n. n. So this is the example. You are given for skin CoCl2 decomposed according to the solution CoCl2 to Co plus Cl2. And you are given the Kc. But you need to find the Kp. So you know that Kp relationship is equals to Kc times Rt to the power of delta n. Just insert the value. So Kc here is 0 0.083 more per liter times Rt. So R is 0 0.0821. LATM over mole Kelvin and temperature in Kelvin 900 convert to the Kelvin so you got 1173.15 Kelvin to the power of delta N so delta N is total number of mole of the product minus of the reactant so product here we have 1 plus 1 so we have 2 mole and for the reactant, we have 1. So, 2 minus 1 is 1. So, you calculate the value, then you get, you will get 7.994. The unit is Kelvin, Kelvin, mole per liter is cancelled here. So, it will be ATM. Okay. So, another one. So, you, you are given the Kp, you need to find the Kc at temperature 25 degrees C or to 98.15 Kelvin. So, calculate the Kc. Kc will be Kp over 
RT to the power of delta N. So, KP is 3 times 10 to the power of 24. ATM negative 1. R is 0 0.0821 L ATM per mole Kelvin. T here is 298.15 Kelvin. So, delta N here is... This one is 2 mole, the reactant is 2 plus 1, so 3 mole, 2 minus 1 will be negative 1. So you will get 7.34 times 10 to the power of 25 liter per mole. Alright, so this is another term for this uh, chapter, which is the reaction quotient. The quotient is represented for the Q and C is for the concentration. So the reaction quotient uh, here is a mass action expression, just like the equilibrium constant for the K. Where how to write the expression is the concentration of the product divided by concentration of the reactant. But the condition of this QC is not at equilibrium. So this is how you express the Q. Concentration of the product divided by concentration of the reactant. And the power of each of the substance is represented by the stoichiometry. Uh, number for the each of the substance okay so this is the comparison between the KC and QC uh, what you need to know from the comparison of this KC and QC is uh, the QC is used to determine which direction of the system will shift to reach the equilibrium because the QC here is expression where the condition is not at equilibrium so if you compare to the with the KC you will need you will know whether uh, the system will shift to the left or to the right or not shifted at all okay so we have three comparison here first we will have Q equals to K so if Q equals to K meaning that it is at equilibrium so it will not shift either direction whether to the left or to the right but if Q is greater than K the system will shift to the left where some of the product will convert it to the rating and if Q is uh, lower than the K the system will shift to the right and some of the rating will be converted to the products so this is also the comparison of KC and QC in terms of uh, bar chart. So this one is for the QC lower than KC. This one is same equal. So this one is QC greater than KC. So this one is if QC is uh, lower than KC meaning that the system will shift to the right. So the rate more of the reactant will be converted to the product. So QC equals to KC it is at equilibrium, and QC greater than KC meaning that more of the product will be converted to the reactant. So it will shift to the left. Okay, so this is the uh, example for the quotient reaction quotient and this one you are given the equation you are given the kc you are given the mole and the volume so you can calculate the molarity so for the so2 1 divided by 10 so you will get 0 0.1 molar oxygen is 0 0.2 so3 you will get 0 0.8 all right so the question is in which direction will the reaction proceed whether left, right or not at all. So you need to find the Q and compare with the KC. So KC here is 100.
So Q, so you write the aspiration, product over reactant. So product here is concentration of the product here. Here is SO3 to the power of 2. Divide by concentration of SO2 to the power of 2. Times concentration of oxygen to the power of 1. So you just insert the value. Then you get 320. So Q here is 320. Then 300 is we have three comparison whether it's equal, greater, or lower. So 320 is greater than Kc. 300. So if greater than Kc, meaning that we shift to the left. Until Q equals to K at equilibrium. Okay. So this is another exercise that, it, that you can do. You are given temperature 700 Kelvin. You are given the Kc and the concentration of each of the substance. Then you need to find the Q first. So write the expression. The expression if you uh, notice it is similar from the previous one which is SO3 to the power of 2 SO2 to the power of 2 times oxygen just insert the value then you will get the Q here is 1 times 10 to the power of 5 molar negative 1 and Q here is lower than the Kc so lower than Kc meaning that it will shift to the right okay so you will have sorry so me so the rate then will be converted to the product mm, so that's all for this part so thank you hope you enjoy watching this recording session and i hope uh, you will do more practice in order for you to understand it. Thank you again.